Ladies and gentlemen, we can meet the 12th plan target of the agricultural growth of 4% per annum only through the measures such as crop diversification, developing high yielding, disease resistant seeds, improvement in water management practices, promotion of the balanced use of fertilizers and pesticides. Further, better and increased use of the satellite communication for weather forecasting and effective information dissemination mechanism to the farming community should help in preventing the crop failure. All-round progress in agriculture and allied sectors is a sine qua non for holistic rural development in the country. During the union budget for the year 2010-11, a four-pronged strategy to propel the growth in agriculture sector was adopted. The four components of this strategy was extending the green revolution in the eastern region of the country, reducing the significant wastage in storage as well as in the operations of the existing food supply chains, improving credit availability to the farmers and providing further impetus to the development of the food processing sector by making available state-of-the-art infrastructure. These strategies have led to positive outcomes and we need to build on these initiatives to induce further improvements in the agriculture sector. We are all aware that a number of issues are confronting farmers, especially when the communication revolution is integrating the world into really a global village. Economies are simultaneously becoming knowledge and capital intensive. Our farmers have to quickly adapt in order to cope with the changing times. They have to upskill from engaging in agriculture for subsistence to taking up agriculture as a commercial venture. With a large number of small and marginal farmers who rank at the bottom of the prosperity pyramid, the task is enormous and would need adequate support from all the stakeholders, including the government. Government would simultaneously need to focus on creation of employment opportunities in other sectors to provide income diversification to rural families who today are dependent for their livelihood solely on unviable land holdings. Economies of scale through aggregation of the products can be catalyzed through creation of additional on-farm and non-farm employment opportunities in rural areas. In this regard, it is the collective responsibility of the different departments and ministries in the union governments and the state governments to work in unison and at a scale that creates the desired impact. Agriculture also needs to be given priority, access to power, credit, water, and fertilizers. It is essential to create rural infrastructure in the form of all-season roads, multimode transportation, quality power supply, transparent market mechanism, thriving financial institutions, and others. To ensure remunerative returns to farmers, we also need to set up farmer internal groups, interest groups that link farmers to the markets, reduce information asymmetry, and make available both information and effective choice to farmers for supply of inputs and sale of products. It needs no reiteration that food and nutrition security is important for India considering the very size of our population and the large number of undernourished and malnourished living to extremely poverty. We shall have to always keep in mind that there is no power in the world which can feed 
120 plus million people. Increased food production would not only give a boost to our efforts for improving access to food for all, but would also positively impact <coughs> household level food availability. I once again applaud the efforts of the Agriculture Minister in instituting the Krishi Karman Awards and congratulate the state governments for their dedicated, sincere and tireless efforts in achieving a record production of food grains. I am confident that these initiatives will make all stakeholders work even more closely towards realizing the twin objective of higher agricultural productivity, more sustained and durable economic growth. I once again <coughs> congratulate you and wish you all success in, the, in your endeavors. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai.